Hello there, welcome to Jazz Draft. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you on how you can use the eyedropper tool. You can find the eyedropper tool in this one. You can right click and choose the eyedropper tool. Eyedropper tool is used to take a sample of color. Now we are going to use it samples color from e eyedropper tool samples color from an image right click on it so we are going to use it and click on the eyedropper tool let's say we want to take a sample of yellow you can click on the yellow color click as you can see once you click it it will change this foreground color into yellow once you choose any other color it will replace the foreground color pink as you can see it changed the foreground color let's choose the yellow what you can do with this once you select the color you can you can use the brush tool and brush with that color let's say i'm going to use the or pick of color of orange I can choose the orange now then I can use the brush tool and, and brush as the orange press ctrl Z to cancel you can change the you can change the background color which is white here by pressing by the use of eyedropper tool and pressing the shift alt left click and take a sample let's say let's say for this uh, lighter green so it changed the background color into lighter green you can also click or press the shift alt right click shift alt right click and it will show this color picker and you can choose from here which colors you want so press shift alt right click hold it and choose a color which you prefer so I prefer the, the red here. So it changed the foreground color into red. And you can use brush tool to brush with that color. Control Z to cancel. What you can do with the eyedropper tool is you can take a sample color out of your Photoshop workspace. Let's say I'm going to take a color of the green from the from my wallpaper choose the choose the eyedropper tool and click from inside and drag it to the outside as you can see the foreground color changed into gray as i hover it to this workspace also it changed to black as i i place the cursor here and drag if i go outside it will change into the green which is the color of my wallpaper and to this it will change to white so you can do that with i with the eyedropper tool let's go back you can also press caps lock what it will do it will change the cursor into cursor type of cursor you can revert it back by pressing caps lock again this is the regular cursor of the eyedropper tool but if you want to look like uh, to make it look like a cursor you can press caps lock and you can take a sample color by use of this as you can see it changed the foreground color there so let's turn off the caps lock next is the show sample ring if you check uncheck the show sample ring or check on it it will show this the ring outside click the left click and it will show the color and the ring outside the outside the cursor once you go to the other color the half of the ring which is on the top will change to the replace color and the bottom half is the present color that we selected which is pink now when we go to the orange the recent adjustment color is orange or lighter orange once we go to the pink the new color selected 
if you release the click will will be pink and if you choose right now the next one the recent color will be pink and the new color selected will be white so that's the purpose of the show sample ring what you can do also with the with the eyedropper tool as you can see there's a sample size here which is point sample by default what it will do when you have uh, let me zoom this up in it will take a sample color from each point or each pixel of the in of the color in the workspace let's say you want to choose this color it will choose only the that pixel but it will once you change it to three by three it will take a sample color of the three pixel and and mix the three and will take the and will and will produce the average color say i will choose this one or this a mixture of white as you can see it's not pure pure pink say here if you want to take a more color mixture is you can use five by five or other let's say 101 average you can choose that say we go to other color here click on this as you can see it's the color is not pure pink it's the mixture of the color which is one by one pixel average here so that's another option in eyedropper tool let's uh, simulate here another thing if you are using the sample on layers that means you can choose the the color or pick a color from different layers let's say from different layers i have green red and yellow background color of layers here so i can choose a green red and yellow but if i select the current layer which is the green the selected one i can only choose the current selected layer but i cannot choose the red the white as you can see it didn't change to red and oh and yellow another way is current and below the current and below let's say i choose the red layer it i can only choose the the current selected la layer and the below let's say i want to choose the green I cannot choose the green but i choose the white instead because it is the below of the red i can choose the red the yellow but i cannot choose the the green i need to click the green so i can pick the color because and the red because it's below the the others if i select uh, yellow say i choose yellow and white it will it will change the color of a foreground color but i cannot change it to red because it, it is on top of this layer so whatever it below it will be selected and the current will be selected or we, you can take a sample of color from that all layers no adjustment let's say i add Control z add let's say i will add an adjustment of invert I will click this and i will add, add an adjustment of invert it will invert the color if i choose all layers and no adjustment as you can see it inverted the image based on that effect but what it what it will do it will not choose this purple make sure you select this one it will not select this purple but it will instead uh, select the original color see if i turn this off it will select the green red and yellow so all layers but it no adjustment this adjustment will not affect the selection 
Same on same on the current and below, but no adjustment. Let's say, let's say I am in red. When I choose red, I can choose red and yellow and white, but I cannot choose the green. No, not this. Click on the current and bellows and select the red. If I click on red, I can choose the red and yellow and white, but I cannot choose the green. And the uh, in the inver invert function will not work because it is current and below and and no adjustment. So that's eyedropper tool or the use of eyedropper tool in Photoshop. So I hope this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.